24 hour TT. So this will be Chris's third year competing in this TT. He's looking to up his distance from last year. He's not injured this time. Uh, he's got a massive support crew. Very importantly, uh, doing less stops. Last year he was stopping for like 10 minutes at a time and it's crazy the amount of distance you lose doing that kind of thing. So fingers crossed, he's set for a pretty good performance. Hopefully I'll get some footage as he comes past. Maybe he will stop for a little bit. Elle and I were with him when he started this morning and yeah. we both said it was amazing how calm he was. Yeah. Um, and he was kind of just saying, I think because it's now his third year, there's a lot less unknowns. Like, and he was like, I know it's gonna hurt, I know it's gonna this, that. So it's kind of almost just, just do it. emotions a little bit. He was very, very, very relaxed. We missed the start? Oh shit, yeah, you yeah. missed it. Well, well I we guess thought, me, me and Will missed it as well. We kind of did as well, because I thought that where we were, he was setting off from. So like, I was like, okay, we've got 10 minutes left. We can kind of like get him sorted. He can get on his bike. And he literally just went and then cycled off. I was like, okay, goodbye. Can we address the elephant in the room, which is, what are those? What do you mean? What is that hat? So it's, yeah, it's yeah. my hat, you know. It's one of the Atticus ones. Yeah, you've seen it before, haven't you? What time of day is the best time of day to fit 40 nuggets inside of my inside my body? <laughs> Any time of day. Any time of day, Any legit. Day. Are you doing it? You're doing what? the 40 nugget challenge? We're doing it today, yeah. Screw really? Today, yeah. We're going to film it on you this know channel. What, you know what Chris is doing? Screw Everything the T2. Really impressive. 40 nugget challenge. I initially charity said you've got to raise some money from charity, but I scrapped that idea. Oh, right. Just for our entertainment. If you want to, donate to the pay centre down <laughs> below. Yeah. Hey, man. You need any more water? Yeah. Give me one here, I'll drink. Put that straight in. I'm gonna fill your speed bottle up with that. Is it not coming through? Or is it alright? No, no, it's fine. I've just drunk it all. You got two on the back. There's as much well. food in this pocket over this one. That pocket's full of rubbish. Do you want more in the speed bottle? Than no, on the I'll back? just drink a bit now. It's four yeah. hours, four and a half hours done. Yeah. Fast. What? You've got one bottle on the back and that's now full. Amazing. Watch Next back. stop, I will probably lose the visor because I think it's getting dark. Yeah. I would imagine it's going to be like. I don't even know the next second. It's going to be two to four hours, okay? Yeah, yeah. will you need layers? Yeah. Okay, uh, cool. Atticus winter jacket. Right, cool. Well done, mate. Cheers, Well, this is, this is, this is the easy bit at this point, isn't it? It's so sticky. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what a weapon of a bike. Bad sign he's already on the tops. <laughs> Uncomfortable. Time trial bike geometry is a shift. That bike's designed for like four mile time trials. Really? So it's just gonna hurt. Are this people do really, really hardcore TT setups and just don't hold them yeah, for yeah. most of yeah, the, yeah. the event. They might, as in, they might as well bring a bloody road bike, right? Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which, is, which is actually really interesting because Darren is riding on a road bike that he uses for all daxes and really, really long distance stuff. Yeah, in a TT setup with a disc. The world record is 100 chicken nuggets in 284 seconds. That's what? not, that's not possible. No, four is it, minutes. So wait, is that a record for a, a hun <laughs> the 100 knuckle, nu nuggets? That's, that's some pretty good stuff in the van. There's loads of good stuff in the van. Nutritional stuff? Nutritional stuff, yeah. Nutritious and, and delicious. Tasty. What we got, give me a rundown. Right. Loads of different gels. So we got one pro gels, some um, cliff gels with caffeine and some Martin gels. Wow, and then in here we've got Proplus, some Named sports stuff, a bunch of Haribo, Saurine, loads of Velo Forte, more Martin drink mix. Then in the side bag here we've got rice cakes, flapjacks, and bits of Saurine prepared for him. Is he having any like real food? So, uh, last time you made him bruschetta and that sort of thing? Yeah. Are you making him stuff like that? What's so, we on? made rice cakes, flapjack. Um, for him specifically to have real food that's a bit more savoury flavour uh, but because this year we're not stopping at all um, we're literally just going to have him on the roadside quick change of pockets and then he's on a ways away again it's not easy for him to have a proper meal so I think we worked out that we said he can gain like an extra 30 miles or something if we don't stop so we're just going to go with some savoury food options as well as all the gels and um, Velo Fortes and things like this. The amount of food that we're going to have per hour is going to be about 80 grams an hour and he's going to get that from his rice cakes which are like 30 grams each rice cake is same for all the other solid food real food that he's having is 30 grams and then his drinks are 20 grams a bottle so you have one bottle an hour which is more hydrating and then the rest of it will come from food so it's about 60 grams worth of carbohydrate and food an hour. What about proteins and fats? Fat won't make it improve his performance in today. So it's 24 hour race. 
it's all going to be carbohydrate based performance and energy requirements so fat will just be whatever it comes with in the foods it will just slow down digestion and potentially cause stomach issue and protein wise because it's once again 24 hours there's no requirement for recovery he's not going to do another race tomorrow he's not going to do another race in two or three days so protein isn't integral to this race or his performance again all about the race feeling jealous daisy a teeny tiny bit i really do like the hats quite a lot so they look awesome you're gonna get a pair as well. Yeah, I might do. Let, Let it go. go. What do you think, Will? <laughs> strong, strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hat, right? Yeah, the hat. Yeah. In the front, wet wipes. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So the first bit in the in the rear pouch, we've got Pro Plus and Hardcore Neurofen. You are like a guy you'd meet in a night club. What do you need? Oh well, not a night. Maybe what'd, like what'd you need? more illegal race. What do you need, mate? You need a wet wipe. Yeah. <laughs> If I lose my parking space, I'm going to be livid. Just putting that out there. Dun tan. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered, um, <laughs> I ordered 20 nuggets. I forgot I ordered, tried to do it twice because I posted just the payment for just 40, one. 40, mate. It's 40. You're not getting out that easily. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Yeah. But it's starting to hurt a little bit. Is it? I've gone through that. You got a long way to go. No, no. Keep them on yours. You got to do one more so we can take it, so we can film it. I can't have no more. You have to do one more. No, they're clapping for you. Well done, George. I did a real well good done. job. I did a real good job. Well done, me. <laughs> Tell you what I have learned. You need a little bit of fluid to wash it down with. Your speed thing fits a whole one of them and then one the top. Okay, fine. Uh, so he's got the correct volume. Yeah. But more of it is in the, the speedy thing. Okay, fine. Uh, Just double it next time. He, was, he smashed a load of water as soon as he came in. So he must have run out. Yeah, he had. And he was thirsty. Okay. So I guess we just need to be aware of that. How does this differ from last year? You're saying um, you think there's more road bikes? Yeah. So, so the first year there was a lot. There was quite a lot of trikes because it's the tricycle national champs at the same time and tandem. Last year there was a couple of trikes, a few tandems, a lot of TT bikes. Whereas uh, this year, there's no trikes, maybe two tandems and uh, some TTs, but a lot of road bikes. So there's a lot more road bikes than I've seen in previous years. Some with clip-ons and some actually without clip-ons. It's 24 hours, kind of makes sense, but I guess it's the difference between uh, the fastest, if you're trying to win it or if you're trying to do it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, is, what your goal is at the end of the day and how sustainable is your TT position as well. Yeah. Like Chris's is very specific to this style of event. I think I definitely have both bikes um, to at least have the option. Hmm. So the last thing you want to do is to go, I can't hold this position and just spend your whole time sitting up in the wind. So our dinner ready yet, mate? Oh, he's having a right wind. He asked the guy, did you, did you, is he, do you know? Yeah. He, asked the, he asked the guy in the shop for some boiling water. What did he say? Offered him some money and everything for it. five pounds for boiling water and he said no. You were boycotting them. Exactly, boycotting them. Boycott now. I'm not boycotting chips, beans and cheese. This pasta's not even going to boil, so I'm definitely going back in there. He's put so much so much oil in there, I think there's probably less fat in the chips, beans and cheese. Oh, look at his face. He could have cried. I heard it's be better macros over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Cleaner, definitely. Cleaner. Definitely. cleaner, way cleaner. If you want a clean bulk. And, uh, oh, and, and obviously, and, you don't do that shit. What, what food ID certification have you got in this setup? None. None. They've got a five star rating, these guys. Is Will's the same size as Jimmy? <laughs> what are you talking about? Will's brought a surfboard by accident, not a base. <laughs> I'm about completely out of water. Has anyone got the visor? Would you like a layer? Yeah, go for it. It's yeah. on my head. Do you want these off and I back over the no, top? No, no. You're going to be able to get to your pockets with that jacket on. I hope so. It's got two-way zip, so you can do it uh, from the bottom. Yeah, someone's got the glasses. Jimmy's got, yeah. I've got a... Oh, Jimmy's got You're doing really good. Sore than I was this time last year. Sore? Yeah, You've yeah. got more what's though? Yeah. You've done way more power. You're giving me some caffeine. Yeah, we're going to take another big dose now. Oh, yeah. Same as before. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to give you 300 milligrams. Okay? Yeah. So 50 more than you when you started, okay? And you can have some Thank extra you. there. Where's he gone? Where's he fucking gone? He's, he's gone inside he's a, the glove. He's gone in your little, in your little pocket. 
He's yeah. going to confuse people. Look, it looks like you've got blurred vision. What number is he? No, no, it's 55. Did you see how far he'd gone on his computer as well? What how far? Was that? 247 kilometres. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been restricting his caffeine over the last month or so because he'd been tapering off. He had been lowering his habitual intake, yeah. So he should feel the effects a bit more. So when we do take large doses, the performance enhancement from it should be greater. We're dosing him every six hours to a maximal dose. This time we took four milligrams per kilogram body weight. So it was um, 300 milligrams of caffeine and that I'll do him for the next six hours. 300 milligrams, that's two and a half espressos? 75 milligrams per espresso typically. So it's about, it's like, what, 750? It's like for a quad so. espresso. Yeah. This strategy should make sure he's safe and then we're still getting the maximum performance benefits of caffeine because it will reduce your um, received pain you can push harder, uh, the, the endurance performance benefits are, are massive. So it, if you're not taking caffeine in this kind of event in like proper ergogenic amounts, so like performance enhancing amounts, you're losing out. You use some big words, don't you? Ergogenic means performance enhancing. That's why I said ergogenic than performance enhancing. I'm glad you did, because I would have been like, what's ergo ergonomic? <laughs> So it's now about 10 p.m. Uh, Chris has done his final refuel for the night. As long as he can maintain this, he's he's riding a lot harder at the start than he did last year. Um, so it's more go hard at the start, hold on for as long as you can for the rest of the night. Um, see how it goes. Being light up, lovely, just by the fish and chip shop. <laughs> it's beautiful. Pre-use fish and chips. <laughs> I want to know about Chris's skin suit. Okay. What's special about his skin suit? Why is it so shiny? <laughs> Why is it so shiny? Yeah. So um, this year we've engineered it. Uh, so like obviously last year we had a very Larry skin suit, but this year he's got a very Larry bike and Larry helmet. So we thought um, let's be a bit more creative with it. And also the difference between this ride versus a normal TT is that obviously he has a huge night section, which we're into now. Um, so we have uh, manufactured it with basically two huge uh, reflective panels that in the daytime basically look very much black, go with the sort of like uh, slick sort of black look and then at night basically when there's a full beam on it so either from a car or another rider uh, it just absolutely illuminates. It's very much like the sort of commuter jacket type stuff that you see but the difference with this one is that it has the same stretch as a normal Lycra it has uh, the breathability of a normal Lycra, um, but yeah, it's very reflective. So, yeah. It looks awesome. It's cool, it's cool, right? And you, you notice it as well, as soon as it goes past and there's like a bit of light on it, it just yeah, yeah. pops. Yeah, Makes it easy Which, for us yeah, to spot him. Yeah, exactly, and it keeps him safe during the night. So, yeah, it's good. All right, this video is gonna be split into two parts. Thank you very much for watching the first one. We're gonna have a bit of a kip now. Stay tuned for the next upload and the second half of Chris's 24-hour TT tomorrow. Bye for now.